Hello, I'm Marina and the Diamonds, and you're watching bestfan.com. What's up, guys? You're watching Best Fan. I'm Rebecca, and I have the absolute pleasure to be with Marina and the Diamonds. How are you? Good. Very good. Good. Well, I just want to start off by saying I absolutely love your style. You have such a distinct look. Talk to me about your influences. Um, I well, I like I like fun uh, clothes. I like to have humor in whatever I'm wearing, even if it's a very classic outfit. I tend to blend, yeah, a classic aesthetic with something that's fun and youthful. Well, if you could use three celebrities to describe your style, who would you choose? Um, oh, that's good. That's a good one. Gwen Stefani. I really like, um, is it Lee Lazark? She's a DJ kind of model, part of the Misfits. I think I kind of just want to be her. It's not that I really <laughs> dress like her. And I guess for this album, Britney Spears, just when she popped out, you know. Do you have any style pet peeves? I really hate Ugg boots. Ugh. Oh, they're so disgusting. I have nightmares that like ghosts are gonna come back wearing them. <laughs> You know, because ghosts are always wearing clothes, obviously, and, and it's usually like medieval wear. I just fear that in 500 years, our ghosts are going to be wearing our boots. So you're on tour with Coldplay right now. Talk to me about this. How's this experience been? Um, I've done one of the European legs, which was stadiums, and that was incredible. Really, really fun. The audience for Coldplay is huge. I know you went on tour with Katy Perry. Do you ever get nervous on stage? Because they were all outdoor stadiums in Europe. It's almost like you feel less nervous because you can see everyone, whereas last night, you couldn't see anybody. So it's harder if you can't see them? Oh, definitely, even with my own gigs, you know. So <laughs> I like to see people. Do you have any uh, pre-stage rituals that you go through before you get on there? Watch a bit of Britney's tour DVD. Yeah, all I do, and then I do vocal warm-up. Okay, let's let's talk about your album, Electro Heart. Now, you describe this as being an anti-breakup album. Yeah, it's like a parody love album on some levels. In in that, you know, there are a lot of songs that have kind of a lot of black humour to them. For example, Homewrecker, Bubblegum Bitch, Prima Donna. It revolves around this one fictional character called Electro Heart, um, and I just kind of envisaged it as a pop soap opera. So it's very kind of camp and melodramatic, but uses that that pop music model in order to make it palatable for, you know, a mainstream audience and a mainstream live show as well. What are you a best fan of? Wet and Wild lipstick. $1.99, sometimes $2.99. There's one called Dollhouse Pink, which is basically this color. Um, it's just so cheap in the UK. You really don't get um, goodish makeup that's very cheap, so <laughs> I'm a best fan of wearing wild. Can we play a quick game? Mm -hmm. It's called Pick One. Okay. Uh, pancakes or French toast? Pancakes. <gasps> Beatles or Rolling Stones? Beatles. Brad Pitt or George Clooney? Oh, George Clooney. <laughs> Wine or beer? Wine. Early bird or night owl? Oh, I want to be an early bird, but I never can be. Pumps or flats? Flats. flats? Hmm. Well, thank you so much for talking with Best Fan today. If people want to check you out, where can they go? Uh, they can go to Twitter, Marina's Diamonds, M-A-R-I-N-A-S, and then Diamonds, or Facebook.com slash Marina and the Diamonds. And for more exclusive interviews with only your favorite artists, go to www.bestfan.com. I'm Rebecca here with Marina the Diamonds. Ha <laughs> ha!